Hi, I'm Lauren from LSP Actions. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a grid watermark in Lightroom to your web size images. I don't recommend adding this to your full size images for your clients, but if you're uploading to an online gallery, sharing on Facebook, anywhere you don't want your image to be um, taken, you can add a grid watermark. These are very, very difficult to remove. Much better than adding just your logo if you need that added bit of protection. So you've already watched the tutorials for adding these in Photoshop, which comes with the Photoshop um, patterns and it comes with the Photoshop action and web size um, resizing to help you apply the grid in Photoshop. I've had many, many requests for a Lightroom alternative. I've now added this to the product and to your account if you already own this, so you can go ahead and download it. So once you've edited, um, edited your gallery, in Lightroom, I'm using Lightroom Classic. You may be using um, Lightroom CC, but whichever version of Lightroom or ACR you're using, you can watermark. So if you select all your images and as normal, you would go to export and uh, you would choose the location of your client's um, images, where they're going to go, subfolder, um, if you're going to rename them which size you're going to be exporting in. So for long edge, I would recommend at least 6,000 pixels on the long edge and no watermark. See the watermarking marking area here is left blank. So then you go ahead and you'd export um, for your clients. Sorry, it's just like that. So Lightroom is now exporting the images. So how about exporting with a watermark for web? The settings you're going to want to use are, so we're going to put it in a folder with client's name, client name, web size, Start number one, I always try and recommend uh, using the same numbers for the images. Resize to long edge, you want uh, 2048 at 300 dpi. You can sharpen if you want to, include what you need to. And now we come to the watermark. So you turn the watermark on and then you click here and it will probably come up with simple copyright watermark. If you click on edit watermarks, the watermark window will pop up like this. You can name uh, the watermark whatever you need to. This is coming from my Enchanted Pix library, so it's showing as Lauren AI. Um, yours might show as something completely different. So up here where it says image options, you hit choose. And after you've downloaded the LSP square grid watermark, the LSP diamond grid watermark from the website, you can choose which one you want to add to your image. So I'm gonna go for diamond, prefer that one. And it might come up not looking like a lot to begin with. So you can turn the opacity up and we can see the diamond starting to appear. You can change the size to proportional if you want it larger over your image, or you can choose fit and fill, and that will be smaller. So you can make it really, really teeny tiny. You can make it really, really big. I like to hit the anchor point to the middle. And the great thing about this is, is next time you want to export using a watermark, it's gonna remember your settings, but if not, you can just add it again. And then we hit save, and it's gonna export all of these images now, web size, as oh, it wants me to name the watermark, so call it diamond watermark and hit create, and then you can hit export, and that's going to export all the images uh, to wherever the location is you want to save them at web size with the watermark. So now, if we go off Lightroom and we just take a look at one of these images, let's go here. open it out, oh, it keeps going on my other window here, and you can see the watermark has been added and the image is small and sized for sharing online or web. You can also take this into Photoshop, the, um, the watermark that is, take the watermark file into Photoshop and add your own logo down here if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. So I hope you enjoyed this addition to the LSP Grid Watermark Overlay Collection, um, the actions and now the Lightroom watermarks. Really, really easy to use once you set it up. You don't really need to worry about it again. Just make sure you only use this on web size images, obviously. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.